Hi guys, it's Sora. Um, I'm here to do a very intense <laughs> lime crime review. Now this lipstick company has been around for a few years. Personally, to start off though, I like Sugar Pill a lot more. Lime Crime has a lot of very nice, you know, out there colors, but so do a lot of other, like, underground more so companies. It's just harder to find. I'll put up a link to all of the dupes, and we'll probably save you a lot of money, too. This one that I have right here is the first one I got, is the Lilac. It's in a very pretty, you know, case right here. I like the sparkles. I love the unicorn on it. But it is very cheap plastic. I've seen other people drop these and it just shatters. So that's not good. That, and when I posted it on one of my websites, someone thought it was a little mini vibrator. So I think... This is a nice little hint for Lime Crime to maybe not make it look the shape that it is, because, I mean, if people were mistaking my lipstick for a mini vibrator, I mean, that's really not good. It's actually really embarrassing. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I love the color. I like it a lot. It's a nice pastel purple. I'll swatch it for you. There we go. Ah, trying to do so yeah very nice pastel purple it smells really good I'll give them that it smells very good unlike some lipsticks it smells awesome um had a bit of a problem though with mine see these little I don't know if you can see them very well there's like these little bumpy rough marks on them I opened I got them as soon as I opened up the package and everything and I opened up this lipstick and there's these weird bumps and cuts all over it. At first I didn't know what that was. I'm like, oh my god, you gave me the shittiest piece of lipstick ever way to go. Which actually they kind of did. I'm really upset with them because that means that this can break off at any moment, in other words. So it's kind of like they just threw it together and sent it out. So I'm really pissed and just knowing that this little part, because where it is right now is like right there. So that's like a lot of lipstick gone right now. Well, when it breaks off. So pissed. That really upsets me. Someone else told me that. I didn't know that. So, I mean, it's $15.99. I think they actually said they are going to increase their, um, their, bleh, their prices soon. Not good. <laughs> so, um, quality-wise, it's great. Depending on the color, it's going to fade. Uh, this one fades nicely, though. Like, a nice color. Some of them don't fade very nicely. And this one fades to, like, a cute little pinky kind of color. It's really nice. I'll give them that, too. I mean, I think this is probably my favorite by them. But, um... Ew, it looks like it's slanted now. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to buy another lipstick from Lime Crime ever again. Because after I bought this lipstick, um, I noticed, like, on their Facebook and everything like that, they use photos without asking an artist and just say, like, look at, look at this pretty photo of Lime Crime, and it's not even yours! It's some person's from DeviantArt or something, and you didn't even ask them if you can use that photo. It's really rude. And now I saw, um, I'm helping out this other website, but, um, I think it was a few years ago. What was it last year? 2011? Maybe? But, um, Lime Crime was a part of a big scandal. Yeah, Xenia is not my favorite person right now. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. I mean, she's really rude. And when I brought to her attention that, you know, you shouldn't lie about stuff and, um, you know, take people's photos like that. I, I was just, you know, being nice, like, hey, you know, as a company, you just, you know, shouldn't do that. Trying to help them out. I was being so nice about it. She was absolutely 
horrible to me. So rude. And then she always says, like, haters all the time. It's just like, what are you, 14? I'm sorry, but I'm not a hater. I'm just trying to help you so your business can grow because it's not good right now. And there's also a great website uh, that I've been help hosting in, too, called dodearlies.tumblr.com. There's other few websites out there that also show, like, all the scandals things her and her company have done. And just, like, all, all the lies she spreads, how rude she is. I mean, she's even been rude to Sugar Pill. So that's really not cool. And if she just cleaned up her act a bit and didn't steal other lipstick ideas, because half of her website is actually dupes of someone else's, which is what I'm going to be posting for you guys right there. Why? <laughs> you could be so great if you just came up with your own ideas and didn't steal from others and weren't rude to others. Lime crime has a lot of potential if they did not do this, honestly. So, if they see this video, which they probably will too, there you go. You guys can do so great if you just cut that shit out. <laughs> I mean, they smell good. Um, just don't lie about... They also say this is vegan. According to my vegan friends, this technically isn't vegan. And then do... Xenia lied to me the other day saying like, oh, no, we we put beeswax in this a year ago, but then everywhere else that's been posting, they only updated that like a couple months ago saying that they use beeswax now. <laughs> and the ingredients didn't say so either. So I was kind of like, why are you lying? You know, that's really bad. What if you were allergic, this, 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 hardcore vegan or something, and you just found out and you're like, oh, I put that shit on my lips or on my eyes since they have other things than lipstick right here. That's not good. <laughs> so, I just think you should be careful when you order from here. Um, make sure this is what you really want because it costs more than MAC, honestly. And I love MAC. And I love Lime Crime, but I'm not buying from Lime Crime anymore until I see improvements. I'm just going to keep going with Sugar Pill and the other dupe or original, excuse me, of what was Lime Crime and why not. So, yeah. But, hey, it smells great. It's nice consistency. The bottle and packaging it even comes in is really cute. Just need to, you know, level things up a bit. And I think they will, honestly, but, yeah. <laughs> Lime Crime. Only buy it if you really freaking want it. See ya!